when you are. I can. Mm -hmm. So the first question, please introduce yourself. Um, who are you and how long are you playing Rico? Uh, my name is Håkon Solberg, also known as Rico. Uh, I've been around for like four years now. Or actually I played a bit like when Quake was new back in 97 or 98. But then I did a comeback, you can say, in, nine, in 2007. And played pretty actively, actively from then and out. Okay. Um, how long do you play and how often? Uh, uh, it used to be uh, a bit more actually than it has been the last year perhaps. But I guess I use at an average uh, one to two hours a day. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in which division you are playing? Uh, the highest. I the number one. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> so, what's your favorite map and your favorite weapon, and why is it? Uh, it depends on if you mean duels or in team play. Both. Okay. In duels, it's uh, City and DM3, and maybe DM4. I never got tired of that map either. Uh, I like them because you have to. You have to play very tactical and you can also switch styles at least on CTN and you can switch styles uh, to adapt to your opponent and you're you always got options so uh, that's why I like CTN in 3 the best and I guess uh, I uh, actually I like all the weapons even like the the bad ones like the axe and the nail gun they're fun funny to use and they got their uses in so oh, well the axe is pretty useless but uh, at least it's funny to axe kill people. Uh, but of course, uh, the most powerful are uh, RL and LG. And I think I'm maybe a bit stronger with LG compared to relatively to others. But uh, I think my uh, rocket launcher skills are pretty okay as well. Okay. So Do you have any special um, situation where you can tell us with a special weapon you can Im um, um, memorize. Remember? <laughs> memorize. Um, well, it's always fun to catch an enemy in the air with the shaft. Kay. Like just watching him float in the air while you're below him and look how helpless he is. It's always funny. Uh, pretty balanced. Uh, of course, you got um, one area with the red armor and the mega health. That's the most important. But you also got the uh, yellow armor on the opposite side of the map. And you also got a lot of areas where you can hide, so you don't always have to have to have to fight. So uh, yes, it's um, that you got uh, the special thing about City and DM3 is that you got so many options, and uh, it's uh, you need to you need to change your play to be really good there a lot, like change your face. So sometimes you need to be fast, sometimes slow. Okay. And um, so is this mit worum es geht? Also hmm? worum wor was Quake World all about? Mm -hmm, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, what is Quake World all about? Uh, it's all about for me. I think it's. I think Quake is. Uh, uh, about different stuff for different people, but for me, uh, it's the extreme nature of it. Like it's so fast, and it's the weapons are so powerful, and uh, uh, you always, uh, I mean, just one tenth of a second where you don't pay attention can be the loss of a game. So we always have to be, always have to be focused, and always have to be uh, be prepared for anything. So I think uh, think that's much the uh, much of the appeal that is so fast and so brutal. Absolutely. Okay. Could you um, uh, uh, tell me what was your first steps in Quake World? Can you remember the first time you booted up the game? And oh. What was it like? Yeah, yeah it was. How does it feel and what what's your memories on it? Yeah, it was. Uh, and, and please um, include my question uh, into your answer. So please tell me. Uh, say uh, start your sentence with the first time I booted up. Quick, well, um, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So. So my question will not be heard in the final movie. Uh huh. Okay. 
Can you ask it again? <laughs> um, uh, what was your fir the first steps and if what was the first time you booted up? What was it like? Yeah, the first time I played Quake World, I think I had a pretty crappy Pentium compu computer back in 97 or 98, not quite sure. And it was laggy and uh, you had a, well, at least I had an ISDN line, so I had a decent enough connection. But I mean, you only had, you had so little FPS and uh, and everything was laggy and stuff, but still you thought it was a great experience to play it because of the multiplayer, like you could play with other people and uh, it was a quite uh, re revolutionary thing to do back then, over the internet of course. So my first impression was that this was the best game I've ever tried so far. And uh, of course, my my internet bills started to go up pretty fast, and my parents got mad, so I couldn't play so much back then. And uh, t eventually, I quit it back in '99, I think. So absolutely, lots of good memories, and uh, still an awesome game yeah, for sure. You're one of the newcomers, um, in, uh, not a really newcomer, but you s your skills skyrocket, and you. Um, we are now one of the best. Um, to what what motivation? What kind of tips would you give newcomers? Um, uh, to that uh, there's because there's the newcomers are scared about uh, this whole system uh, because it's very hardcore. Could you give any advice to newcomers how to um, rack up the skill very fast like you did? If you're a new player and really want to become good at this game, you basically just uh, have to have passion about it and spend a lot of time playing. It's, I mean, it's the only way to get better. But of course, it helps a lot to have... Uh, I, think, I think you should make yourself a dedicated goal on what you want to achieve with this game. And if you want, really want to be the best, you just have to put down the hours to, uh, into it. and. Uh, Basically, learn from your mistakes and learn from uh, learn from other good players, and uh, just uh, keep playing a lot. I think that's the best uh, best tips I can give. Okay. Um, what does this scene need, and what's the biggest problem, in your opinion? Uh, the scene needs more players, and it needs more better players because uh, this, uh, the average age of the people playing this game. It's getting quite high, so uh, I guess it's around the average average age is around 26 years, or 25 years. So we definitely need m more new players, and we need uh, more players that are dedicated, that, that w actually want to be uh, become the best or at the top of the game, at least. So that's the that's the that's the challenge here, I think, with this scene at the moment. And do you have any ideas um, how the, the community can reach this goal? Well, to achieve, uh, to get much new players into the game, you need to have uh, uh, Arke Vader, a Swedish player, actually started up this uh, ignition tournament that is only, only for new or pretty new players. So I think that's uh, one of the ways to go. At least that's a very good start to just uh, reach out to different gaming communities and say, hey, you can have this game for free and you can play with other new players so you won't get uh, crushed in your games. Hopefully you'll have a good time and maybe, who knows, maybe somebody sticks around and actually want to become better at this game as well. So I think uh, definitely more, more rookie tournaments for new players is the way to go. Okay. And um, when you first... Um get into the game, um, how was your impression of the community? Do you think it was very close or very open for new people? Yeah, my impression of the community when I started, mm -hmm. like back in 97 or 98, it was uh, the, the Norwegian uh, community was quite large, so I felt I had most, most connection to the other Norwegian players. I didn't know so much about the other the other players in the other countries. Uh, but uh, when I started again in 2007, I think it was uh, much more international, Like, uh, but still still a pretty small scene. Uh, so basically everybody, everybody knew the good players and who they, were, who they were. And 
eventually uh, you start to know the new players as well. So I, I'd say it's a pretty intimate community, like everybody knows or I have heard about each other, more or less. So I also think that's the reason why there's always so much drama when someone fake nicks <laughs> and do stuff like that as well. So, uh, but I got the impression that uh, many people care a lot about this game and have uh, played it for so many years. And uh, I think it would be a really sad thing if it's uh, starting to end now. So, intimate and nice people indeed. Uh, I think the game changed quite a lot from uh, when I quit for the first time in 99 and when I started again in 2007. Uh, it, uh, uh, developers have acti actively uh, improved, uh, improved, uh, improved the game and uh, I think it's only a good thing for the community that the game uh, develops and, it's, uh, and that it's a uh, scene just uh, open for developing of the game as well. Um, I think uh, I think Quake would be much deader than it is today if people haven't uh, spent their time trying to develop the game, for sure. So. Okay. Um, do you have any? Tips or shout outs you want to say or tell the community? You can uh, take your time. Yeah. Think um. about it. Or any thank you or oh. no or something like. <laughs> I don't know. Well, uh, I think we got, got a good thing going on here, like with regular seasons and regular tourneys with uh, like the uh, EQL and uh, now with uh, Dual Mania starting up again. So I think just a big thanks for everyone who uh, dedicated their own time to, to give, uh, give this community something. I think that's, uh, you're doing a great job. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.